Today we're going to be going over how to operate a Genie GS 1932 electric slab scissor lift. One of the first things you're going to want to pay attention to before operating any of these scissors is on this weatherproof compartment on the platform here. You're going to have your operator's manual and your ANSI's responsibilities manual. Again, those are always going to be located in the weatherproof compartment on the platform. Now let's go ahead and take a look down below. Now down here on the right hand side of this Genie 1932, I'm grabbing hold of this latch, swinging it out towards you. You're gonna have located your hydraulic tank, your motor, oil filter, and manifold. Those are all located on the right hand side of this machine. Always be sure that you relatch your doors. And now let's go take a look at the other side. Here at the left side of the machine, again, by bringing this latch open, bring it out towards you, swing your door open. You're gonna have your four six volt batteries located on this side, and you also have your battery charger. Always be sure to latch that door back in. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to operate the ground controls. Now to operate this machine, you're always gonna wanna make sure that up here at the platform, that you have this e-stop out. Power's always got to come up to the platform and back down, so you need to have that e-stop out. Then at that point, you're able to come down. Again, lower e-stop out also. This key switch here, all the way to the right, is going to be for your ground controls. You're going to see it's going to configure the machine on the screen. You're going to want to select either indoor or outdoor. We're selecting indoor. To operate this machine from down below, this is your enable button, and you can raise. And then also to get this machine down, you're gonna hit your enable button, and then just hit the down arrow. That's gonna allow you to bring it down from the ground control. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the rear of this machine. Now that we're at the rear of the machine here, you're going to notice with the machine in the air, your data tag with your serial number, the model year, all the extra info you need is on this data tag right here on the belly of the machine. Also, what you're going to have <clears throat> right here, this cord this is going to be your 110. This is your power to platform. It's going to be your 110 to the platform. This is only plugged in when you want power at the platform. And this here is gonna be your 110 receptacle, your power to platform from your cord down below. Right next to it, below I should say, is gonna be your battery charger. Now I do get a lot of calls of people saying things like they plugged their machine in overnight and it didn't charge. This gets mistaken quite often for the battery charger. Again, this is not your battery charger, this is your 110 to platform. Your battery charger is located right here with the decal right above it. You're also gonna see this red switch. Go ahead and flick that up. This is gonna be your brake release in case you ever need to free wheel the machine to just push it out of the way. Again, you just lift the red tab up, hit your toggle switch in the up position. That's gonna allow the machine to free wheel. Now, if you ever have the machine stuck in the air for any reason and it doesn't come down on its own power, you do have a manual down cable. So again, by just pulling this cable out, That there is going to allow you to manually get the machine down. Now let's go ahead and go to the platform controls. Now to go ahead and run these platform controls, again, you're always going to want to make sure that down below at your ground controls, this e-stop is out. This key switch here is all the way to the left. That's going to allow power to go to the platform. Again, when you enter the platform, always use three points of contact to get in, get your gate open. Always be sure that this gate relatches. Again, e-stop out. You're gonna notice that it's gonna cycle through. Once it lights up here, you're gonna notice these bars. That's gonna be your battery indicator lights. That's gonna tell you how much battery life you have left. Before operating any of these functions, you gotta select either 
indoor or outdoor. And then you're gonna select either your lift or your travel. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the e-stop off so it's not beeping, but normal operation, always make sure your e-stop is out. So to select the lift, hit your lift button there. You're gonna notice there's a dead man switch right on the front of this joystick here. So forward with the stick is gonna be lift, return to center again, dead man switch in, hit and hold. Reverse is gonna bring you back down. Now, when you switch it over to your travel mode, hit your travel button there. Again, dead man, hit and hold, forward, and then back towards you for reverse. You're gonna notice you got a rocker right up top. You're gonna steer off that top rocker. So left steer, right steer. This turtle symbol here, that's gonna indicate your travel mode. You can put it in a low travel speed. And then you also have your horn up here. Now, if you ever move this box around in the platform, you're gonna always wanna make sure when you're done with it, you put it back in the platform control position. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this extension deck. Now to go ahead and operate this extension deck, you're gonna notice down below here, you got your lock. So with your foot, go ahead and bring your lock in. That's your first position to lock it in. You got one more out. So that there's fully extended. Whenever operating this, make sure with that deck out that you do have it locked in place so it's not sliding on you while you're up here doing your job. So bring her back in, retract it. That's midway. That's all the way in. Today we went over how to operate a Genie GS 1932 electric slab scissor. Now this video is not intended to take place of any comprehensive training program. We do do training, so if you'd like, go ahead and leave a comment down below, give us a call. Also, if you don't mind, go ahead and like and subscribe to our videos. If there's any other models, machines that you'd like a video on, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below also. Thank you much.